welcome back guys this is question 2.93 of chapter 2 and the statement of it is a circuit system is given in figure 2.11 which is here assume the components fail independently so the part a of this question is what is the probability that the entire system works and b given that the system works what is the probability that the component a is not working so let us first target part a of our question and here the solution of it is here okay so now in order to find the solution of part a we can very clearly see that here component a and b are connected as a case credit systems while here components c d and e are also cascaded okay so here we can find out the probability of it if we call this system as y and this as x okay so the probability of x would be what it will be the product of the probability of a and probability of b because these are the independent systems okay and therefore cascaded systems probability has to be multiplied together so it would be probability of a multiplied by the probability of b okay similarly for the probability of y which is this one what we have to do we have to multiply the probabilities of c d and e so probability of c multiplied by the probability of d and multiplied by the probability of e okay so here let me first find the probability of x so it would be 0.7 multiplied by 0.7 as well and finding it out we will clearly see that this is 0.49 okay similarly putting values here this would be 0.8 multiplied by 0.8 multiplied by 0.8 so it would be what it would be 0.512 so these are their probabilities now here when the branch will be here so we can very clearly see that these two are connected in parallel such that here we will have the systems which are like this and this okay so this is x and this is y so the system will work if any one of these paths will work okay so the input will be from here it will follow this or this okay so if any of these will work we will get here our output okay so therefore this is the union operation which is basically the or operation so therefore in order to find the probability that the entire system works it would be the probability of x union y okay or it would be the probability of x plus probability of y minus probability of x and y okay so as the systems here are independent of each other so therefore here we can write it as what we can write them here as the product of the probabilities of x and y okay so let me put these values here and putting these values here what will we get it would be 0.49 plus 0 0.512 minus 0 0.49 multiplied by 0 0.512 okay so finding it out what will we get the answer of it would be 0 0.751 and that is the probability that this system will work okay or the answer of part a of my question similarly in order to find the solution of part b what is this given that the entire system works what is the probability that the component a is not working so we can very clearly see that we have a condition here and that is that the entire system works okay so we have to find out the probability of what we have to find the probability that a doesn't work given that the entire system works okay we have to find 
it out so what does it mean if this system will not work it means this whole branch will not work so we don't care either b works or not if any one of them wouldn't work so this entire branch will not work so therefore we have to concentrate over the condition which is given which is that a is not working so the probability that a doesn't work is what it would be the one minus probability of a which is what 1 minus 0 0.7 so it would be 0 0.3 okay so the probability that a doesn't work is 0 0.3 let me move down somehow okay so now here in order to find it out probability of a prime given that the system works let me write it like this it would be what it would be the probability that a prime is available and c and d and e these three works we don't care whether b works or not because if any one of them will not work this branch will not work as well because these are cascaded together as i have mentioned earlier okay or divided by the probability that the entire system works which we have already found out okay so here as these systems are independent of each other here i can write it like probability of a complement multiplied by the probability of c multiplied by probability of t multiplied by probability of e okay divided by these probability that the system works let me put these values here so probability of a prime is 0 0.3 multiplied by probability of c which is 0 0.8 multiplied by the probability of d which is 0 0.8 and probability of e is also 0 0.8 all divided by the 0 0.751 so let me calculate it and after calculating it the answer of it is 0 0.2045 okay and that is what that is the solution of part b of our question so uh, that's it for today in which we have seen the solution of question 2.93 if you have any question you can ask in the comment box see you soon